Hey guys, it's Cube here, and I just wanted to make a quick video. I know it's a little bit late, but I wanted to make a video on all the puzzles I either got for free, I traded for, or bought from people at Worlds. So I'm just going to quickly go over them and just tell you guys what I thought of my first competition and just how, like, just some shout outs also to some people. So uh, this is a YJ 3x3. That is my main. That was not uh, anything. I got this from my Cube Mart. I'm just going to say what they all, like, where they all came from. I'm not going to say whether I traded them or bought them. Or got them for free, but I got this from Rubik's Guy, otherwise known as Jameson, the uh, Rubik's Two x Two. Got a Randy's Cube from I'm guessing Randy. Got a Feng Shi from uh, Ether Cube Store, and I traded my Latch Cube to JR Cuber for this, and it had really crappy stickers, and one of the stickers was missing, so I traded that one for this one. And somebody, this I have no idea. I think JR Cuber gave it to me. Uh, this. E3 Cube Store. This was JR Cubers. I got a Flower Minx finally. Uh, Land Land 3x3x2. Three by three by I didn't buy it. I, someone gave it to me for free. Uh, new Shangsha Aurora Black because I gave my black one to my cousin. Then the Gear Ball, which is one of my favorite puzzles. I got this from Jehoa Rubik's. This Picture Cube, I think. Or maybe from JR Cuber. And I think I got this from Jehoa Rubik's. Got this from my Cube Mart. It's an MFA plus Diane uh, 4x4 version 2. MF8 plus Tom Z 3x4x5. Sheng Xiao Aurora. I know, um, Sheng Xiao uh, Mirror Blocks. I know in my Better Brand video, I mentioned that I don't have the box for it. And I actually don't. I think I left it at my. Might have left it at the hotel. Not so sure. Got this Mosaic Cube. Now, this is definitely one of my favorite puzzles in my collection. I have not solved it yet. But I traded a Panchi for this. I traded a Panchi for a like, $50 cube. So that came from Blake. This I actually bought before that because I didn't think Blake was going to come up, but then I think he came up on the last day, or the second to last day. Then I got this uh, sparkly red Moyu Huan uh, Ying. This skew mod, which is a skew ultimate. Uh, it is one of the, that skew, skew ultimate mixed with a regular skew. Then you get this. Got an MF8, I mean not MF8, a Maru. Uh, face turning octahedron in mini 3x3. I got the 4x4x5 barrel from Jehoa Rubik's. This is a real challenge. If you saw my world's video, it took me like an hour to solve that. Hey, a uh, pillow to QJ 5x5. A Venus cube from Algo, otherwise known as Camille. And I think it was lubed by Laura, who is uh, her fiance, I think. So thank you, Laura and Camille, for this. And I'm, well, I will be doing a review on this. And I still have to figure out how to get the pieces out because I get, I'm kind of scared to rip them out because I feel like it'll just break. I traded my Mosey for this with somebody. I asked why they had a JR Cuber sticker that, and apparently Jesse sold them to him or something. Got a V Cube three. Got this unknown brand. Got a Mega Mate from Claire. This is awesome. So thank you, Claire. Missing Link from Rubik's Eye. Uh, what Eden three by three by six. Oh, I got this in my 51 more fun unboxing. You guys probably saw that. That is one of my favorite puzzles. Then I traded my white 42 millimeter uh, Zanch that I bought from Ether Cube Store for this, and I get uh, I kind of traded it to uh, just keep cubing for this. So now I have three 42 millimeters. I still need a white one. Then I got this Type F Magic, the rainbow one, and then I get, got my uh, Type C5 signed by a bunch of people. So here are all the signatures. If your signature is on here, then leave a time frame or timestamp in the comments below and let me know which one is yours. And here is the white side. Here you can see the channel of the week, JSV Cuber, right here. Everyone go subscribe to her, please. I'd really appreciate it if you did. Uh, Mads Falks. And JSV Cuber, otherwise uh, known as Julie. She has amazing videos and she just had a really great Shangsha Aurora review. Uh, by the time this is uploaded, I think it might be like maybe a few days old, but it's still a great video, great review. I loved it. I love watching Shang Shao Aurora reviews because it's my main. And I don't know why I even like watching them if it's my main. I already know all about it. But anyways, stop blabbering on. If your uh, signature is on there, leave a time frame or timestamp down in the comments and let me know which one is yours. So those are all the puzzles I got at Worlds that I can think of off the top of my head. And some shout outs I want to give to people. Uh, would be JR Cuber. I'm really sorry that you lost your camera and your barrel 7x7. Seven seven. It really sucks. And I, I I would absolutely hate if I was in that situation. So everybody, 
Go subscribe to JR Cuber, please. Go subscribe to Just Keep Cubing, Evil Potato, Twelve Sixteen, JSB Cuber, WM Cubes, uh, some other ones, Joey Vav. I'll put all these links in the de in the description. Then I think A Y O Man something. That's Robert and uh, Algorithmus. Big shout out to Camille and Laura. Who else? Claire for giving me the Mega Mate. And if I remember anybody else's name, I will leave it in the comments. I think uh, there's Sadia, there's Matt, there's Sam. Who else? Victor. Victor was awesome. Victor, if you're watching this, big shout out to you. You were just awesome. I loved your blind pen solve on the uh, consolation round for 3x3. That was a fun, fun day. So anyways, I had a great time at Worlds. It was definitely one of the most awesome experiences I will ever experience in my whole life. I went to Rubik's Cube World Championship for my first competition, and I think it was a really big one, because it was in the U.S., and apparently it's not in the U.S. that often, and it won't be for the next few years. And also, I was not aware that it's every other year. So I'm really happy I went. I met a lot of cool people. I got a bunch of cool puzzles, as you guys see. And it was just one of the best experiences of my whole life, and I'm really happy I'll be doing to more competitions. I averaged about 26 seconds for uh, 3x3. I averaged about 8.19 for 2x2, I think, or 8.31. And then 50.95 for one-handed. Those are good for me. They're definitely not good for other people. People would be really sad if they had that, but I'm very happy with it. So that's all that matters, that I'm happy with it. And I just had an amazing time, as I mentioned a lot of times before. So again, big shout out to all those people. Just keep cubing, JR Cuber, Evil Potato Twelve Sixteen, WM Cubes, Algorithmus, JR Cuber, JSB Cuber, and Victor and Sam, Matt, all the people I mentioned. And thank you to everybody who came up to me and said hi. And thank you just for everyone for talking to me and making me feel comfortable in at the competition uh, area. Oh, and a huge, huge shout out. I don't know how I forgot this. Huge shout out to Evan Hockey One Two Two Three Three Two. I was pretty much walking with you. 24-7, or every single, like, second of the competition. So, a huge shout-out to him. The biggest shout-out to Evan, or Hockey12332. I'll put his link on the top of all the other links. So, huge shout-out to him. Thank you, everyone, and hope you guys all have a good night, and thanks for watching.